Yo Mixy, bring me in. Yo, I like that, but take it deeper. Yo, I'm feeling it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble! What's up, Stellar fans? Klaus, Family Hobbies and Carts. I got a Ukraine update for you. And I think I'm going to be able to convince you by the end of this video that 2022 is going to be the year of crypto. Yep, but before we get into that, huge thanks for everyone out there. You've been subscribing. You've been subscribing, and I have been participating in No Shave November. Yes, it's starting to get a little grisly looking, but I am going to keep continuing on with it. And on top of that, 2,500 sub giveaway. Let's make this a good Christmas for someone. And honestly, I think it's going to happen probably close to around Thanksgiving, maybe the week after that. So it's going to be a lot of fun. 2,500 sub giveaway. And merch, yep, we have merch. I'm going to put it up on the screen right now. Fridge magnets. If you want one, they are three bucks. I will ship them to you. For our European and international friends, it's I think it's going to be right around like $4 to ship it to you with a magnet. If you're interested in that, hit me up in the email. It's on the channel page. All right, let's get into some stellar Ukraine updates. And again, stick around because why 2022 is going to be the year of crypto. All right, so let's get you caught up real quick with Ukraine. All right. So a while ago, Ukraine passed the bill to allow for crypto payments. Yep. This made crypto essentially legal in the Ukraine. Since then, though, some really, really interesting things have happened. Yes. Stellar became a member of the Association of Banks in Ukraine. That's the big boys. That's the big players. All right. These aren't your local community banks. These are your big hitters. So, yep. Stellar is part of the Ukraine. So yes, Stellar is part of the Association of Ukrainian Banks, all right? Got a couple articles related to that that goes deeper into that. We covered it already on the channel. But again, any article you see in this video is linked where? In the description below. Yes, so if you want to read those articles, go a little bit deeper on that. They are there. But let's talk about why I think this is going to be big. So now they passed that bill and then they said, hey, look, we need to start regulating it. So they sent the bill to the president. The president said, you know what? I like it, but there need to be some changes on who regulates it, uh, what the regulation is going to be about and so forth. All right. So you're like sitting here going, well, hey, what's what's the good news? The good news is the president's down. He just wants it to have certain regulations in place so that the government can monitor it a little bit more accurately right so it's not the wild wild west all right so this article goes on to talk about what the president was asking for and looking for in the changes all right so another article in regards to ukraine and this is why this is going to be big all right so the president yep said hey look get me more regulation and then i'll sign it not a big deal but check this out all right there was a little tidbit down here now after 276 parliamentarians voted for the bill the country plans to open the cryptocurrency market for business and investors by 2022. Hmm, wait a minute, 2022? What else is set to happen in 2022? Yes, the XRP lawsuit, right? Discovery was pushed to January of 2022. What is this telling you out there? Governments are giving themselves time to allow for crypto regulation in 2022. We have two large governments right now, just in this story, there's plenty more out there, but just in this story, United States and Ukraine, you've got two big pivotal crypto movements that are gonna be happening in 2022. And you know what? That's what we're gonna be discussing on the live stream tonight. So if you wanna know more about this deeper dives, join our live stream tonight. It's gonna to be Monday night. Yep, and we're gonna be doing more live streams during the week, so don't worry. If you miss out tonight, you'll be able to get another one. But yeah, so essentially, let's get you caught up. So Ukraine allows for crypto to become legal. Awesome, not a big deal. The president got the bill and the president said, hey, you know what, I like it, but there needs to be some more things in here before I approve it. So he sends it back. It's sent back. Now you have a spokesperson there who's inside on this saying, you know what? We're cool with this. We're going to get this done. 2022, be ready, right? They say it basically in here. They say, be ready. Businesses, uh, crypto trading, you name it. 2022 is it. All right. Stellar is an association of Ukrainian banks member. Yes. 
XRP lawsuit, right? Now they pushed it to January 2022. All right, yep, lots of juicy crypto bits happening in 2022. Let's go big screen. All right, full screen Klaus here with you. So yes, big news, all right? So for Ukraine, if they launch their CBDC on Stellar's chain, that is gonna be good because that's gonna introduce a lot of wallet holders, a lot of organic growth, that is good. If they end up using XLM native token to run their stuff through, holy crap, would that change the game. Insane change. So this brings us back to the other point, right? We have Meridian 2021. Danelle Dixon's big announcement is on the 16th at noon. You know, it's not going to be the Ukraine because guess what? They're not voting on that until 2022. So that means, yes, there is another announcement. Yes. So if you stuck out with to the end of this video, I snuck a little juicy bit in there for you, right? For all those that watch the whole thing. And if you have watched the whole thing, thank you so much. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. And if you want some merch like a fridge magnet, hit me up with the email and I'll totally help you out. So Klaus, family hobbies and cards, have a good day.